there's Jane Mansfield. She had a very short career, and uh, she got killed in a very bad way. A flaming, grinding car crash ended the bright movie career of famed Jane Mansfield on June 29, 1967. Jane Mansfield was a starry-eyed romantic. She had a passion for love and a passion for heart-shaped objects. So what's the mystery? I'm just a perfectly normal American girl. <laughs> I remember she used to be on the Jack Benny show playing the violin. <laughs> she needed to be noticed. That was like a junkie needs drugs. She had to have publicity. Anton liked publicity, too. So they were a perfect pair. The founder and high priest of the First Church of Satan, Anton Zandor LeVay. And in the 1960s, he's gaining a lot of notoriety. Stranger, do we have anything to talk about? She's always liked that dark side of things. Jane's big downfall was her addiction to attention. I look like Jane Mansfield. Her whole life became chaos and drug use and child neglect. I talk like Jane Mansfield. <laughs> well, I'm sure they had an affair which it would be unnatural if they didn't. If you're going to be a sinner, be the best sinner on the block. If you're going to do something that's uh, naughty, do it. Was she really a practicing Satanist? I can't picture her slaughtering goats. Along comes Sam Brody. Anton was not fond of Brody. Sam Brody was cursed by Anton LaVey. As a matter of fact, he said he would even die in a car accident. The only people that I would cast a curse or a spell on would be people that would get under my skin. You can write anything when someone's dead. You can write a whole book of lies, and there's nothing you can do. You solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God? Yes, sir. So it is done. 